Yeah, it's like on the normal roads, you have some idiots driving around, and uh, it yeah, seems that there's also one driving here. Alright guys, welcome back to the Cucumber Challenge. My name is Ben. This is round number 10 here at Hungary for the Cucumber Challenge. This is the championship where I drive as Narain Karthikeyan trying to win the World Drivers title. It's going to be a tough ask, but uh, I'm willing to put in the hard yards to get there. So here is uh, practice one. We had an R&D session um, testing the brakes. I think we had to uh, stay off the brakes for a certain percentage of the lap. And um, I think it improved brake efficiency or, or something to do with the, the brake cooling there. And um, we ended up uh, passing the, the R&D objective there. So some crucial upgrades and we, and we definitely need them because some of the, uh, the top teams are really starting to pull away now with their upgrades. And uh, I really need some kind of improvement on the car just so I can fight with these guys. But uh, I got 12th in the, uh, the practice session there. But that was due to the rain coming down uh, about halfway through the session. So... Um, quite a mixed up grid there if you look at it. I think Daniel Ricciardo topped the session. Um, I think once everyone set their times within the first 10 minutes, the track really deteriorated. But here is um, Q2. I managed to get out fairly well with the prime tyres. Um, it was quite deceiving in the end. Um, I thought I had a, so much pace throughout the weekend in qualifying, but as the weekend got on, I felt that everyone was striding away from me um, and as you can see I'm struggling here in Q2 even with the option tyres I'm in 15th here and I'm really struggling so I've really got to get um, the most out of this lap because this is the last lap in Q2 and I'm well down in the field I think I need about two seconds to make up to get in to Q3 here but I've got a lot of traffic here it's quite heavily populated uh, at the end of the session it's always happy hour but I uh, really need a good lap here to to get into Q3 uh, the gap to the top running cars is really it's quite it's quite big to be honest so I really need a good lap here but so far I'm hitting all the apexes as good as I can get them this is just about a perfect lap so far and uh, hopefully this car up ahead doesn't hold us up too much gonna have to swerve out of the way it's Rosberg gave us a little bit of a slipstream but didn't really help us too much, to be honest. We're four tenths up on our previous best, but we're eight tenths down on tenth place. Paul de Resta. That is, that is horrible. It just shows how bad the, the HRT is with its aero. And, you know, we've really got nothing when it comes to high downforce tracks. But here we go, coming up to cross the line. And we didn't make it into Q3, unfortunately. But we did get into 13th, which is uh, better than Alonso, surprisingly, and Daniel Ricciardo, who showed some good promise early on in the weekend. But look at that, the teammate challenger absolutely smashing uh, Pedro De La Rosa there. I think for race strategy here, we're starting well down the field. Well, not well down the field, we're actually in the midfield, but um, I'm thinking of going on the prime tyres. I think if I can get a good start here, I can defend from these guys and then put on the faster tyre towards the end of the race and uh, have a better chance of holding position when the other AI cars uh, really up their fuel mixture towards the end of the race, so I'd be able to defend from DRS a little bit easier. But, um, yeah, I really have to get off to a good start if I want to get in the points here. I feel that uh, once once the cars in front of me get a little bit of an air gap, they're just going to pull away, and uh, I'll be left for dead pretty much. But here's my setup. It's um, nothing too out of the ordinary. I've gone a little bit shorter on the gearbox just to get through the middle sector just a little bit better. I want to avoid some of the understeer that this HRT can bring. But uh, here we go for the race. Alright, so lining up on the grid for the Hungarian Grand Prix. Round number 10 here in the Cucumber Challenge. Just waiting for the five red lights to go out and we will be away. Straight up into fast. We need a good start here. We seem to have uh, got jumped by Weber there. And Alonso wants to pass us up the inside. Hulkenberg is storming up there as well. I'm going to have to go around the outside maybe. A gap appears. And I've slotted in there fairly nicely up to P10. Rosberg gets a bit sideways there off the side of Grosjean. And uh, that's left him vulnerable to myself and Mark Weber. I'm going to cut to the inside and get a load of positions there. Up to 6th place. And Schumacher bumped him a little bit but not too badly. And now I'm going around the outside of him here because I've got more of a flowing run, I've been able to take the position with Bruno Senna there, he's in fourth, that's amazing, it's good to see Williams uh, bouncing back from their torrid start to the season, I remember lapping Bruno Senna in Monaco I believe, so good to see him bounce back with some good points so far in this race, but um, 
seem to have got off to a good start here despite being on the primes. I think fifth is going to be where it's at today at the best. But uh, that's not that's not too bad to be honest. But I'm just hoping that Lewis Hamilton isn't leading the race at the end of the day because uh, he's my main rival and uh, he's at least 40 points ahead, I believe, after Germany. But look at that! I think that Schumacher is trying to charge up the inside. I cut across him and managed to hold position there fairly nicely. But um, the Mercedes is going to be pretty dangerous on the DRS straights, as I said in many other previous uh, career mode videos. The Mercedes has the double DRS working on this game, and uh, they're extra dangerous when it comes to overtaking here. So I'll need to watch out for that. Schumacher has a good run out of the final corner. He's probably going to go around the outside here, but it's pretty tough. I'm, I was looking behind me, and he braked like 200 meters early, and that really put me off. So I braked just in response, but I was nowhere near the apex. So here we go through here. Schumacher gets a run on me again, trying to go around the outside, but it's not going to work for him. Uh, the inside is where you want to be, but he's managed to hold it fairly well, but he didn't get enough of a run through there, and I've gone around the outside again, the more flowing run, and I've held fifth place so far. So Shumi is going to be pretty damn dangerous in this race, and it seems like he's dropped off because Grosjean might have got around him uh, some stage during the lap. But here we go. Grosjean is going to go around the outside. Fairly nice. Stock standard. I'm going to pass him back up the inside again. Fairly, fairly easy move there, but uh, I've got a poor run out of that corner and, sh and he's going to go around the outside but I squeeze him a little bit and he backs out of it once again. So that might be the story of the race with the AI cars just trying to go for the DRS passes and I'm going to lunge him back up the inside. Who knows but here we go on lap 5 and I think someone's going to pass me. No, I've dipped a wheel onto the grass there and it locked me up and yeah, I've run wide and, sh and uh, Grosjean has got up my inside there. So I'm going to have to get him back really quickly, otherwise he's going to pull away. Goes for the defensive line, I don't know why, I was nowhere near him. So he's really compromised his exit through here, and I'm going to have a run on him through this part here and up to the first sector. If I can just get enough speed, I might lunge it up the inside, just put my car there. And yeah, I do, and he, and he just pulls out of the way and just forces himself off the track, really. He didn't need to do that, he could have gone through there side by side. Um, granted, I did cut the corner a little bit, but Grosjean just completely axed himself there. But I'll take that as uh, Rosberg goes around my outside there, and I'm going to pass him up the inside, though. Fairly nice move. It's just enough room for me to squeeze through, and I've got P5. Once again, with Deresta getting around Rosberg as well. So Deresta is going to have a shot at me just before the pit stops here on lap 8. I was scheduled to come in on lap 7, but I'm staying out an extra lap, and so are the other AI cars as Deresta gets around me. But I'm going to get him back up the inside once again. And uh, that's pretty stock standard, really. I think we're going to see plenty more of those overtakes over the course of the race, but... Here we go, coming in for our pit stop. I think most of the cars will follow me in too. Everyone's gone one lap longer than the, than the prescribed uh, pit stop, so um, the guys who try and do the overcut now, their tyres will be extra worn, so I, I honestly don't think it's going to work for them at all. But uh, here we go, putting on the option tyres. I need a good pit stop here because there's a big train of cars right behind me in the pit lane. 4.8 seconds. We had to hold for Deresta. Uh, that's, that's costly. We lost the position there in the pit stops. It's surprisingly the first pit stop, that uh, first position we've actually dropped. It was Deresta breaks really slow through there. Uh, it was like a car park. What are you doing, Deresta? But as I was going to say, that we've only lost uh, one position all year in the pits through the pit stops, and that was right then. But here comes a bunch of cars coming out of the pit lane now. John Eric Verne, we're going to go around the outside of him. He's still holding position fairly nicely there in P7, but look at that Mark Webber uh, in the Red Bull. That's um, it's a bit of a shame he, he managed to jump us by staying out an extra lap. Granted, he did have a much faster car, so he was able to make the overcut work. But here we go on lap 11. We've got DRS on, on Webber. Um, I was only able to catch him due to his cold, cold tyres, and I've lost the back end there on the kerb. Must have been some kind of bump on there or something because that's quite weird the way that I lost it there. Maybe I put on the throttle or something, but who knows? It's cost us a bit of time, and John Eric Verne is able to catch up again as he's going to fly out my inside here on the run to turn one. It's quite, quite a uh, quite close racing there, right there. But managed to get the spot back around the outside at turn one once again. But here we go again. We've got Verne coming around the outside this time, and I'm going to repass him as you do. A little bit closer that time. I had to. Uh, I got the move done a lot later than normal, but here we go. John Eric Verne again, still hanging in there really nicely in P7. I think Toro Rosso was fairly down in the in the standings there, but they need a good result here. Is always oh, spun out. I think 
Grosjean might have hit him. Let's have a look. We've got a replay. I'm coming through the chicane here as normal. But look behind us. I think Grosjean comes through and spins Vern. Let's have a look. Yeah, he, get, he definitely got taken out there. So I think Grosjean is going to get a penalty there. We'll have to wait and see on that one. Hopefully the uh, the uh, Codemasters uh, penalty system penalizes their own AI cars. Doesn't happen very often, but today I think we're going to see it. As uh, Grosjean, it probably doesn't matter if he gets past us here because he's got a penalty, I think. But um, we're going to repass him anyway, just to make extra sure we get it done fairly nicely. And Duresta is going to go with me there. Grosjean's dropped a few places as... Um, it's the last lap now, coming through the last couple of corners. Lewis Hamilton! Lewis won it. Oh, that's, that's pretty disappointing. I think Lewis has taken the title now. I think it's it's too much now. It's at least 50 points. He's at least 50 points ahead of me now, so I think we can say goodbye to the championship, unfortunately. But coming around the final corner, we've got DeResta having a good run on us, but he hasn't got a run on, off, run on us that's good enough to get us, so we hold position six here in this race fairly solid result uh considering the qualifying session we had and i'll take that all the way to the bank sixth position nice drive really well done that's not the first time i've seen a mclaren one two there's been quite a few this season they're just mclarens are so good this year, they're so damn consistent. I can't, I can't beat them. But uh, I get position six in that race, a solid bank of points, but not enough to really have a challenge on the title. Four cars are a lap down in this race. We're still uh, there or thereabouts in the standings. We've dropped down to fourth. We were third, but Jensen has, has jumped us, which is unfortunate. But I think at the worst, we're going to finish fifth. Uh, with Mark Webber um, being only a little bit behind us, but Fernando Alonso is way behind in the standing. So fifth it is, and uh, we're still third in the constructors for HRT, and I think we're going to hold that with Ferrari being some way off um, in the in the constructors. But I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Cucumber Challenge here in Hungary. We had some good battles, didn't we? I'm looking forward to a few more in Spa. So I'll hope to see you then, and... Uh, until then, I hope you could have a good day, and I'll see you next time.